Eight talented Project Runway designers whose challenge misstep led to their unexpected elimination. This is a really bad bridesmaid dress. It's a mess. There's no fixing this. You missed the mark. Are back to claim their redemption in four head-to-head -head battles. <laughs> First up, Afa, a skilled bridal designer. That pant is unbelievable. Thank you. Versus Delvin, the master dressmaker. Your strongest suit is tailoring. It's going to make you recognizable. Afa's downfall came when he faced unconventional materials. I want to design for a woman that is the captain of her ship. The design is a little bit of a ship's threat. While Delvin saw his chances fade like his home dyed fabric. <sighs> it was all the bad things about tie dye that we didn't want to see. Each will compete in a new design challenge from their home studio to show Nina Garcia. Remember me? That they can overcome their material issues and earn a place in the finale. I love them. It's really a runway ready look. Where they will meet the winners of the other three battles. This is the news of the century. Oh, hell yeah. To compete for a prize of $25,000. Yeah! This is a first. And Project Runway Redemption. Hello, hello, hello. Alan! Awesome. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> You're competing. I'm actually happy that you asked that, Delvin, because Delvin, Afa, welcome to Project Runway Redemption. I'm your host. Yes, girl, I'm your host, Alan Gonzalez. <laughs> wow! The best host I could ask for. Thank you. How does it feel to be promoted to a host? It feels amazing. I mean, talk about a redemption, honey. One minute, you're getting eliminated on episode three. And the next, you're hosting the spinoff. <laughs> As you can see, there's no workroom, there's no runway, and you'll get to compete directly from your home. But we're still expecting amazing designs. And one of you could walk away with a $25,000 prize. Think of it like a little Project Runway stimulus check. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I forget this. I want to know what's been going on past runway. I mean, my brand is still growing and with a growing family, two kids. It's been a lot, but it's also been fun. Oh my God, stop. You have another kid? Yes, I have a, a six month old son now. I can't wait to meet them. Okay, I got you. You have a, a runway show coming up? And two days, which I have to fly to, to Tacoma. Oh my God. In Tacoma, Washington, the fashion Washington. capital of the world, honey. And wherever I am, it's gonna be a fashion capital. That's right, speak it into existence, baby. There's a lot going on. It's kind of stressful to work on my collection and also on this look for the challenge. It's just, yeah, it's a lot. Delvin. What's been going on in your life? The pandemic hit, it hit me pretty hard. I had a storefront, they had to shut down. Um, I had to let go of my entire staff and literally start from ground zero. So I've decided to rebrand and I'm doing small capsule releases. $25,000 would definitely help in, you know, the recovery of my business. And it's, you know, super, super, super important. I love, you know, that you've bounced back and you're doing your thing. You've both come back for redemption. Each of you have made some mistakes. Afa, you got a little bit tied up in your unconventional materials challenge. What do you think went wrong? I was eliminated because I created something that was survival that was not in the cold. To me, I created something to survive in the ocean. That's what I'm, I know. I couldn't find one thing that I felt positive about. Here's what I have a problem with. It's a little skimpy on clothing. Afa, she was freezing. Where I'm from in the island, we don't need much clothing. <laughs> Delvin, you also had some complications with your materials in that tie-dye challenge. It was nothing. It was a fine nothing dress. He was too safe. Yep. And you've got to get to the edge where you're scared. Looking back on it, it, I learned so much. I used to design really, really, really uptight. But over the years, it's loosened up and it helped me a lot as far as going further with my brand. So what are you here to prove? Not necessarily prove anything, but to show what I really can do. Let's see if we can put those material issues to the side in order to impress our fabulous judge, the one, the only, editor-in-chief of Elle Magazine, Nina Garcia. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
system coming out. She's not coming today. I'm just letting you know who the judge is. We don't have the budget. As you know what I'm saying? We can only afford Nina for so many days. <laughs> so who's ready to hear the challenge? You'll have to prove your skills by creating a modern, elegant, evening wear look. Yes! Hold on, Delvin. Don't get too excited. Using the most conventional, most basic of materials, cotton. So no silk, no chiffons. I don't even want to see a cotton blend. The challenge is to create an evening look out of 100% cotton. Mm. You're going to be given a budget of $325. And in two days, you're going to present your look direct from your home. We won't be providing your model. You're going to have to choose a person who will showcase your design. So show us your best stuff. Good luck. Evening wear elegant look with cotton. I am a bridal and evening wear designer. Do I make clothes from 100% cotton? Absolutely not. It's not really a, a romantic feminine fabric. You know, when I think of cotton, I think of pillowcases. A jumps. I like that. Cotton. Cotton is definitely a difficult fabric to make an evening look out of. It's kind of limited. The prints, I really don't care for. It's usually a shirting fabric that's stiff. Oh, I really, this is hard. I don't know. Oh, shit. this is 3% spandex. I turn around and I see some denim. So I check the tag and it's 100% cotton. This is it. It's 100% cotton. I'm gonna pick black and white. It's elegant, it's classic. I don't really work with a lot of black. I, I actually don't ever work with black. We gotta get cracking and sewing because we got no time because I gotta go to Washington and do this fashion show. Okay, does that work? I was eliminated through the tie-dye challenge. You didn't have enough of a grand idea. I hear what Nina was saying, but the time of elimination, it was hard. It was very hard, but it helped me see what my style is more clearly. I want to make sure I show Nina a big idea, so I really need to have a review. The pants first be pinned up in some way at the top, and then once the model unbuttons it, it flows out, and boom, you see the strapless gown underneath. Then it'll be a bunch of like fine detailing. I mostly do dresses and gowns. So I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit and do a jumpsuit. And I know that Nina loves jumpsuit and pants. First thing I need to do is measure Josie so that I can get the pants and this look fitted right. It's great being on Project Runway Redemption, but there's so much going on with prepping this fashion show. We are packing to move houses. Boxes over here, there's boxes over here. I've got two young kids running around and I'm doing this challenge. It's just a lot going on. Hey. Hey. Hello, guys. Afa, your dress form is, uh, she's naked. She is naked. We haven't done anything. I think we, that might have been a technical difficulty because what I heard was, you haven't done anything? Well, I haven't done any bowing. I had cut my pants because I'm doing a jumpsuit. A wide leg pants it has a structured, like a corset type of thing, you know, like a modern twist to a traditional time on wear. Is there anything that currently has you concerned? I gotta fly to Washington tomorrow morning. Sounds to me like you're gonna be hand sewing on that flight. You know, it's a whole different situation when you talk about it, but it's another when you're actually doing it. What have I got myself into here? All right, Delvin. I am doing an evening gown start finish so i'm aiming for a reveal a reveal cotton you gotta spice it up because it can't be boring my fabric actually is denim oh she's doing denim she found a loophole but there's no spandex in there that's perfect for me because i need the structure for the corset nice sleek coke bottle and then bam bam i'm about approximately 10 percent into cutting my fabric is there anything that you're really worried about if I'm bringing enough. You have a lot of work to do. 
So get to it. All right. Sounds good. So I kind of want to do some decorative scene lines. So a flat felt theme is basically on all denim. So it's when two pieces of fabric are wrapped around each other like this, and then it's top stitched on the edge and like two top stitches. But I've never done flat felt seams on a corset. I'm doing the flat felt seam details on the gown to further push the jean story and marrying that to an evening gown. It's gonna work, it has to work because everything else will be destroyed. <laughs> It's the urban element with the luxe element. I just have to be careful with the details and the presentation and really deliver the evening part of it, considering that I'm using such an urban fabric. Being on Project Runway, I was probably the fastest sewer. Sewing part is really easy for me, but the biggest challenge of working with 100% cotton is that it wrinkles. I literally have to press as I go. It's not fun to work with. I have to go home and pack the collection to take to Tacoma. It's obvious that I don't have enough time to finish this look here. It's not bad for three hours of working. Nice jean detail. Working from home is comfortable, but it doesn't alleviate any of the stress. Like, you still have the time constraints, you still have your rules. The only difference is there's a crap ton of real life stuff that's literally right here. It's, it's, can you hold for one second? Thank you. I have to jump back into work mode and finish up the day. The day's work. I'll make it work, no worries. Okay, see you then. Ooh. Okay, we are at the airport. We got the sewing machine. Tacoma, we go. To be able to say that I went out of my comfort zone, the challenge that I was eliminated was an unconventional challenge. Working with 100% cotton, making an elegant evening wear is very unconventional for me. I hope I don't get eliminated on this one because it's also an unconventional challenge. I want it to be long and dramatic, but what I'm probably gonna have to do is reduce it. I originally wanted to do a larger reveal, but this reveal is probably not gonna happen the way that I thought. I don't have enough time to honestly figure it out. I may have bitten off more than I can chew here. Ugh. 136. And I just finished sewing the skirt. So I've decided to not do a reveal. Alternative is to place a semi-functional pair of pants on the front. I see my growth in the garment. I did want to have the functioning jean. I still have a small reveal. It's still a detail that's doing something. You still see the construction. I am completely happy with what I created. This is like a result of all the judging, all the critiques, all the lessons learned. It's these moments where I just want to stop, go to sleep, take a nap, come back the next day, but we don't have time to do that. Well, welcome back, designers. You've taken the last couple of days to master the art of turning the simple into the sublime. And who better to decide if you've met that challenge than our very own editor-in-chief of Elle Magazine, Nina Garcia. Hello, designers. Remember me? I have really good memories of both of you. I know how talented you are. I'm so happy to see you guys again and know that you are well and thriving. Seeing Nina now, I feel like I'm back on that stage. My heart is racing, I'm sweating. The designers had to make an evening wear look, but only using 100% cotton fabric. Nina, I don't know about you, but I am ready to see these looks. First up is Aqua. Let's see the look. We're just waiting on Nina to, to rip the Band-Aid off. Oh my God, that was so good. Great job, Alpha. That was everything. All right, let's see Delvin's look.
Congratulations, guys. So good. Papa, tell us about your look. It's a jumpsuit. This is the uh, detachable overskirt. This peplum to pay homage to my culture. Polynesians in general, they love to wear mats over their outfits and turn it into a modern, elegant evening wear. Can she turn around? I just want to see, is that a zipper? So it has a zipper inside the jumpsuit. And then this is just a tie. You could take that off. Kind of fabulous too. When you thought about doing evening wear and made pants. That feels very modern. Those pants, you needed to really just taper it a little bit on the side with cotton, which is a stiff material. It can end up looking really stiff and really wide. Can we see that back again? Just be careful on that tailoring, right? We don't want any puckering. But other than that, I think that you really delivered on a great outfit. You better send that hat over to New York because I want to wear it in the streets, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Delvin, tell us about your look. I would like to take like denim details and combine it with a dress in some way. So I have a front pair of jeans here with a functional button and zipper. So it gives the feeling that, you know, pants hanging open and I attached it to a dress. I just mesh two garments into one to create something new. You were very ambitious. The tailoring was impeccable. I love the fabric. To pick something that screams day wear and sports wear and make it into an evening gown. Did you make everything from scratch? Everything from scratch. Got it. I would have loved even more if you told me that this look is all repurposed denim. Can you zoom in on her cup area? The cup wasn't completely perfect. That was the only little detail in the construction that I noticed. But there is something very clever about this denim look. You both created looks that transformed a simple fabric into honestly something so much more. However, only one of you can win this challenge and continue to the finale for a chance to be the winner of Project Runway Redemption and a $25,000 prize. This is a really hard decision. Afa, the fact that you gave me a day look and an evening look shows me that you really capitalized on the fabric. Delvin, I love the fact that you elevated denim to an evening wear gown. So, Congratulations, Delvin. For me, you are the winner for thinking outside of the box. And what pushed you over the edge was your modern take on evening wear and taking fabric like denim and making an unexpected evening wear gown. And Alpha, I'm sorry. I love your look too. Thank you for having me. It was fun. In my book, I've won. Just to be able to show Nina how much I've grown as a designer, and to pull off this look while also pulling off another runway show. I'm very proud of myself. Delvin, how do you feel? Good, good. One step closer to the goal. Making it to the finals, uh, first time being here. Hey, everybody. But um, yes, I, it feels good. I'm ready to see what's next. Coming up on Project Runway Redemption. This looks like a party. Oh, hell yeah. Is the cat your model? Yes, Claude Monet. I've decided to create my textile. Is it biting off more than I can chew? I can get in my head, like, I'm not good enough. It's a little bit one note. Project Runway Redemption is brought to you by Cosentix. Sick you can you map. Learn more at cosentix.com.